On November 7th, Wisconsin's Department of Health Services issued an operations memo that detailed a change on how they are counting available income for Badger Care and Medicaid. It's following some federal Medicaid regulation changes, and it takes effect January 1st, 2025. Let's review the old policy first, and then what the changes look like starting for January. Federal Medicaid regulations required healthcare applicants and members to take all necessary steps to obtain any annuities, pensions, retirement, or disability benefits they were entitled to, unless they could show a good cause for not doing so. Wisconsin counted these as available income, provided the benefit amount was known, even if the individual was eligible but not receiving those benefits. The new rule changes that Medicaid and BadgerCare Plus applicants and members are not required to apply for any type of cash benefits as a condition of eligibility for BadgerCare or Medicaid. Cash benefits include things like veterans' compensation and pensions, social security benefits, railroad retirement benefits, and unemployment compensation. So, said another way, effective January 1st, 2025, any cash benefits that an applicant or member is potentially eligible for but not currently receiving must not be counted as available income for purposes of Medicaid or Badger Care Plus. You can read that operations memo. We link to it in the description below.